What's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry and today I'll be covering the New England Patriots and the top three options in fantasy football this season. This year there's not any standout players from the Patriots that you want to just get as like a top 20, top 30 option, but the Patriots do have some reliable options that I want to talk about heading into your fantasy drafts this season. The first player I want to talk about is Damian Harris, who finished as a top 15 running back in standard and PPR leagues, despite missing two games. We saw him have over 900 yards rushing, 15 touchdowns, and I think he'll be able to carry a lot of that same fantasy value heading into next season. Now, the Patriots do typically rotate their scheme, their running backs, so you do want to be a little cautious with that, but he has a pretty safe floor, as we saw last year, because of his red zone usage. Uh, Damian Harris is somebody that you want to get. He doesn't carry the same upside as a lot of the other running backs getting drafted around his same range, but he is a safer option as a like mid-tier to higher-end running back, too. Mac Jones also does not carry the same upside that you like to see, but he is a safe option. QB2 for your team. And yes, we saw him throw for over 3,800 yards in a rookie season. And he does have a little bit more upside this season than he did last year. Another year on the offense, some added weapons. That gives Mac Jones a little bit more appeal, especially since he's been working on his deep ball. The Patriots did add Devontae Parker, and they added Tyquan Thornton in the draft, one of the fastest players, 428. Uh, 40 time drafted him in the second round so there's some good additions to this Patriots team that should give him a little bit more weapons will we see Mac Jones become a an upper echelon top tier QB1 this season I doubt it but Mac Jones does carry a lot of uh, value in fantasy as a higher end backup or in a super flex league a higher end QB2 I do expect him to have some fantasy value this season and do a lot better than he did last year and last is a deeper league appeal, a flex play, somebody you want on your bench, Ramondre Stevenson. He won't have a lot of value out the gate. He's going to get limited touches, probably more of a 60-40 split with Damian Harris. But we do have some, some upside, as we saw last year. Two 20-point games, two two-touchdown games for Ramondre Stevenson. So, yes, we know the potential is there for him to have a monster breakout, if anything were ever to happen, to Damian Harris. So you want to have him as your handcuff. This is more of a deeper league play with Ramondre Stevenson. So, will he be a, a upper echelon option for your team? I doubt it, but Ramondre Stevenson is somebody you want to have on your radar just in case anything were to happen, have him on your bench, or look out for him in deeper leagues. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Patriots' top three options in fantasy football. Make sure to take advantage of the offer below, and we'll see you on the next hurry up.